Today, I'm gonna show you how to make enchiladas, Dano style. So the first step is really easy, my friends. Get you a sharp knife, and we're just gonna cut our pork up into pieces, just like you would a steak. Lay them out and prepare to be seasoned. We're gonna use the new Dano's taco. That's the orange top. <sighs> Sprinkle generously. And I know what you're thinking, oh, that's a lot. He's always gotta use so much. Well, guess what, you guys? Dano's taco is taco seasoning the way it should be made. Not a bunch of salt, there's no cornstarch, there's no flour, it's real ingredients with the right amount of real sea salt. Now we're simply just gonna pat that in, flip them over, and do it again. Now we got them nice and seasoned, get you a big pan, and we're gonna sear them up. Now we're gonna use some olive oil that's made for the sizzle. Now we simply start adding our meat. All right, now we just let it sear and get a nice crust. Don't forget about that leftover seasoning. Get it all in there. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Let's give it a flip. While that continues to sear, let's get our Instant Pot ready. Check it out. We got it nice and seared on both sides. Now I just take that meat and drop it in. We're gonna deglaze this with a little bit of beef stock just so we can get all that flavor in there. It's gonna be good. Now you need one medium-sized can of red enchilada sauce. Add that in and one small can of diced jalapenos. Add those in. Juice and all. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit more taco seasoning. Remember, that is over three pounds of pork butt. This bottle is 3.5 ounces. Think about taco seasonings that you buy in the little packets. They're one ounce for one pound of meat. So we're gonna use a little bit more. We didn't use the whole bottle. We probably used about three ounces for about three pounds of meat though. Last thing to add is a yellow onion. Cut up, we're gonna to toss that in. Now I'm just gonna take my hands real quick. Get everything folded in just like this. So now just fasten your seatbelt and we'll see you in about two hours. All right, it's been two hours, now we vent. Let's get a look. Mm, smells amazing. Get all our meat pulled out of here. Now it's cooled off a little bit. Now I just simply shred apart all the meat that I wanna use. Check this out, y'all. This is why I use my hands for this because there's so much fat in here, you wanna make sure that you're not just taking your tongs and putting all that fat into your meat. All right, there's all of our meat. We're gonna get rid of our fat, and now let's make those enchiladas. Go in here to our juice, get us one nice little scoop, maybe two. So you're gonna need some yellow corn tortillas, not flour, corn tortillas, my friend. Get you a big scoop of meat, we're going right in the middle, roll it over, put them down. Just like that. Now a fresh can of red enchilada. Pour right over the top. Save this and this for your next batch. Now I know what you're thinking. My tortillas might have been a little old. Yeah, maybe they were. <laughs> now we go in right on top with our Mexican style cheese. Don't be stingy. This part's totally optional. Fresh jalapeno. Go right on top. Now into our 400 degree oven we go. 20 minutes later, that's what you get. All right, let's make sure we get some of this sauce on here. I'll drizzle that around the edges. Man, <laughs> look at that. We'll get in the juice. Here we go. I know my tortillas may have been a little old. You can tell by looking at them. But right now, you can't tell. I'm telling y'all what, that right there, with the meat cooked in the enchilada sauce and then putting a fresh one over the top. Wow. That is amazing. Super easy, simple ingredients. Yum, yum, get you some. Remember, we put the O in taco because we live the taco life. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends. So good. Mm. Mm, mm.